you strong. The Turkish aerospace industries has completed the delivery of six T-129 attack helicopters to the Philippine Air Force. The Philippine Air Force is scheduled to induct the last two T-129 BATAK attack helicopters it received from Turkish aerospace industries on 20 December 2023 at Wallace Air Station in San Fernando, La Union. The two attack helicopters will be officially joining the 18th Attack Squadron, 15th Strike Wing together with four other T-129 BATAKs delivered since last year, and the AW-109E power-armed helicopters. Once delivered, Thai will practically complete its contract aside from the remaining integrated logistics support package. The T-129BATAK was acquired as part of the attack helicopter. Phase 2, Acquisition Project of the Philippine Air Force, which is a Horizon 2 Phase Priority Project under the revised AFP Modernization Program. The delivery of the 6 T-129s is part of Horizon 2 of the Armed Forces of the Philippines AFP Modernization Program. Its contract, signed on July 20, 2020, is worth $269 million. The new air assets will complement a pair of refurbished Bell AH-1S Huey, Cobra, attack helicopters from Jordan, along with armed light observation and transport helicopters in the Philippine Air Force inventory. The Philippine Air Force plans to have at least 12 to 18 units of these attack helicopters in their inventory. The Department of National Defense is in the process of securing funding to acquire more T-129 ATOC to increase the fleet size to at least one squadron, or two if lucky. The Philippine Air Force, satisfied with the helicopter's performance and uptime, plans to order a second batch of six T-129s. The country calculates the need to acquire a total of 24 helicopters to form a fleet and aims to acquire 12 helicopters for the first time in the coming period. The force hopes to have 18 helicopters in its inventory by next season. The T-129 ATAK is a twin-engine, tandem-seat, all-weather attack helicopter based on the Agusta A-129 Mangusta platform. The ATAK program was launched in response to the Turkish Armed Forces' need for tactical attack and reconnaissance helicopters. The Philippines is the first export market for the T-129 ATAK helicopter, as a previous order from Pakistan ran into export license issues for subsystems supplied by a United States-based company, which forced Pakistan to cancel its order. Along with engine, transmission, and propeller upgrades, Turkish developed avionics, airframe modifications, and weapon systems were integrated into the Augusta Westland A129 airframe. Other upgrades include rotor blades. The total contract cost for the purchase of the six T129 helicopters is 13 billion 727 million 248,240 Philippine pesos. Based on what the Philippine Air Force has shown previously, the T-129BATAK attack helicopter is delivered along with a 70mm ROK ETSAN Sirat missile, a 19-round rocket launcher for 70mm unguided rockets, as well as an M197 20mm 3-barrel rotary built-in cannon. The T-129 can also be optionally armed with rockets and UMTAS anti-tank missiles and air-to-air -air Stinger short-range air-to-air missiles, which the Philippine Air Force has yet to acquire. Turkish Aerospace Industries has delivered the second batch of two T-129BATAK attack helicopters to the Philippine Air Force. Deliveries began in March 2022 and the remaining two helicopters are expected to be delivered in 2023 to Clark Air Base, Pampanga. The deal was signed in 2020. 
Philippine Defense page Max Defense Philippines said that Turkish Aerospace Industries is trying to fast-track the deliveries of the T-129B helicopters. As deliveries should have been completed by 2021 if not for the political conflict between Turkey and the United States over Ankara's decision to procure the S-400 air defense missiles from Russia, which halted American approval to export helicopter engines to Turkey. The Philippine Air Force is acquiring six T-129s in line with the Armed Forces of the Philippines AFP, Modernization Plan, Horizon 2. The 15th Attack Wing of the Philippine Air Force will operate the helicopters for close air support and armed surveillance and reconnaissance missions. The T-129s will join earlier examples delivered early this year, as well as other attack helicopters of the Philippine Air Force, including the Bell A-1S Cobra, Augusta Westland AW-109E Power, and McDonnell Douglas Maryland 520MG Defender, with the 15th Strike Wing.